Uh, what's up, guys? Um, just launched my own YouTube channel uh, to link with my fans. Uh, I'm very excited. Um, you know, make sure y'all go subscribe um, and comment down below on what y'all want to talk about or any questions. Um, Inside Texas and Texas Homer uh, are helping out with this process uh, and making this account. So uh, I'm really excited and can't wait. Hey, what's up, y'all? Texas Homer here. So I posted on my YouTube channel for the fans to ask some questions for you, and then I mixed them together with some questions I had. Figured it'd be a cool way for us to get to know you a little better on your channel. But we do actually have our first sponsor. So this video is brought to you by Shakiba Capital, a new way to invest. Visit ShakibaCapital.com today. All right, so you show up to campus in January and then COVID, bam, hits. So your introduction to the team was super weird and not how it normally goes. So how is this fall camp compared to last year? Do you feel like you were actually able to get more work in? Uh, yeah, I would say this is um, my first real fall camp this year. Um, obviously, last year, uh, there was a lot of restrictions going on, so it wasn't quite the same. Um, I mean, I feel like I was able to get work um, on, on both fall camps. Uh, last year was just more restrictions and um, some more maneuvers to move around. But, um, yeah, so this was my first fall camp, really, and uh, it, it was good. Yeah, I'd say so, man. And you put in a lot of work outside as well with Stanfield. So how much time are you getting reps outside of the official stuff? I mean, I think extra work is a big component. Um, I mean, if you're not doing extra, um, someone else is. So um, I try to put in extra work. Uh, quite a bit, um, whether that's after um, practice in general or on weekends with with Brad, like you said, um, and and just being able to uh, get the receivers out there um, throughout the off season um, and, and get extra work. So I think that's really important, um, and I feel like uh, we did a good job of that this year. And Brad's been with you since you were a kid, right? Since I think seventh grade. So, yeah. yeah, that's cool to have a coach slash trainer with you for that long. He definitely understands your game backwards and forwards. No, he yeah. does. He's helped a lot. And we've seen how those extra reps were able to help you rise this offseason. And then we have Sarkeesian show up to campus and there's a couple factors at play and his pressers. He's very honest. Seems like the expectations are clear and cut. He's going to push you guys, but he's also emotionally intelligent as well, like a modern coach. So. What, who, what have you seen culture-wise from Sarkeesian that helps you know that we're on the right path now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he's a great coach, um, a great person as well. Um, he expects a lot out of us, um, and, and he, he won't stop at anything to get it. So I think that's what makes him so great. Um, but, yeah, um, as soon as he got um, hired, I think uh, there's an energy um, that was really special throughout the team. Um, he asked for a lot, um, but that, that's what's going to make us great. So uh, he's a great coach, um, great person, um, and I'm looking forward to this season. Sark's an interesting guy, and schematically, Tom Herman really loved the zone read for you, but then Sarkeesian brings his offense in. So what schematic changes were made within the new offense? It's a pro-style offense. Um, he likes to run the ball, and uh, that opens up to play action um, and all those type of things. So. Um, he loves to take shots. He's aggressive, um, but just learn to take the check down when it's not there. So, um, but yeah, he also incorporates RPOs and in, in that such. So um, I would say that's the biggest difference. It's aggressive and fun, man. And Lando show on YouTube actually had this question for you and I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but NFL development has been a major focus lately, at least in media world, but on the ground, are you guys seeing coaches stress development more and, do the guys feel like the new coaches are actively trying to get them to the NFL? Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> I think these coaches have done a great job um, coming in and um, just working on technique um, and just trying to develop their players, um, each position group. Um, they've done a great job of that. And um, I think one of the biggest things, too, is um, if you have team success, that, that brings individual success. So um, the better the team does, the – the likelihood of higher draft picks will come. So, um, and, and that's an emphasis as well. Yeah, it's not a coincidence that the awards go to the winningest teams. And practice wise, we've heard the players say practice is more intense with less standing around. Y'all are moving from period to period. Has it been a noticeable turning up of the heat from both Becton and the coaching staff? Uh, yeah, I think the practice schedule has, um, has changed. And I think that's 
Um, probably one of the bigger differences. Um, you're always doing something in practice the way it's laid out. Um, they have it down to a T. So um, the whole time you're out there, you're doing some type of work, uh, which is really good and um, makes the practices hard, um, which, which is what we need um, going into game time. Uh, it pre prepares us really well. So, um, yeah, I would say that's a, that's a big component of what um, these coaches brought in. Um, and I, th I think it will be great. Do you feel that difference in conditioning now later in practice when you're exhausted on the field? Do you actually think back to that time you were about to throw up in practice or do, do you just kind of progress naturally? I think a little bit of both. Um, I think your training um, gives you a sense of confidence um, when you're put in a tough situation in games, um, understanding that you've done this before um, and you are you were able to push through. Um, so I think your training has a lot to do with it. Um, and it just it uh, grows your confidence um, in the game day. What was the biggest difference adjusting to the college game? What shocked you like, oh, this is what they were talking about? Um, obviously, the speed of the game is a little bit faster. Um, and then, too, I think with each play, there's a lot, a lot more responsibility on that play, um, depending on what the defense brings. And um, there's a lot more checks in high school as well. Um, so I'd say those three things are probably the biggest thing um, from high school to college. Um, and just having a year under my belt and learning from Sam and all that, uh, I think really benefited me a lot. Yeah, Sam represented so much to the fan base. He gave us an identity. He gave us confidence. But what has the vacuum been like for the team with Sam leaving for the NFL? I mean, he's, he's a great leader, um, great player. Um, he helped me a lot. Um, but it's just all about um, new players stepping up um, and, and forming a role that maybe they didn't have last year. Um, so just new leaders stepping up and um, stepping out of their comfort zone to help the team um, continue on and, and grow throughout the offseason and into the season. Yeah, and we'll see that next crew of leaders come Saturday. All right, so let's finally talk some Louisiana. I told you earlier that I'm a fan of their defensive coordinator, Patrick Tony. He did great work controlling the DBs last year. He really knows what he's doing. And they like to throw the kitchen sink at young quarterbacks. It's your first start, and I know you're a confident guy and you put the work in, but where are you mentally as you prepare to go out against an experienced school in front of 100,000 at your dream school? You know, like, where's your head at? Yeah, I mean, this group, um, this team is, is really experienced. Um, they have a lot of um, great players and uh, great coaches behind them, backing them up. So, um, I mean, this team is really good. And um, for me, um, just preparation, um, being prepared uh, grows your confidence. Um, and then just in practice, practicing really hard um, and taking the film room onto the field. Um, so, I mean, I think just being prepared um, – Overly prepared um, brings confidence up a lot. Um, like I said, this is a great team, and it's going to be a good game and a fun one. And um, I'm just going to try to take take in the experience as much as I can. Um, I'm sure it's going to be it's going to be a surreal one for me, especially my first one. So uh, I'm excited, and I'm looking forward to it. And that's the biggest thing, man. You have a lot of pressure out there for a young guy. And with live fire, you won't be able to stop and smell the roses. But give yourself at least one point in the game to kind of look up and see what's going on around you. And you know I've been breaking down your tape this past week. And I got to say, I do see some gunslinger in you with all positivity, though, man. And you make confident throws on the field, and we can see that. But where's that fine line between, hey, I think I can make that throw, and eh, that could hurt the team? Uh, I think a lot of it comes with bank reps and practice, um, understanding what you can fit in and what you can't in the tight window. So um, it's just knowing your game and knowing yourself um, and practice is a big component in that and understanding what you can and can't do. Um, so I would say that's the biggest part um, is just practice and learning what, what I can fit in and, and, and what I probably shouldn't. It's a fine line, man, but keep that line. That's a special part of your game. And Fanatic Perspective on YouTube had a question for you as well. So uh, uh, first, are you an NFL guy? Do you watch a lot of NFL? Yeah, I do like NFL, cool. for sure. So when you are watching the league, which quarterbacks are you a fan of? And like, what components do you try to adapt to your game? Of course, we know the basics like Tom Brady because he's a leader, blah, blah, blah. But like, what are you actively looking at in their games? Yeah, um, I've always liked Aaron, Ro Aaron Rodgers. Um, and his release, 
um, and the way he can spin the football. And then uh, I'm a huge fan of Patrick Mahomes as well. It's hard not to. Um, he's a fun guy to watch on Sundays. So um, I would say those are the top two guys. And then um, obviously Russell Wilson as well. Uh, the way he carries himself on and off the field um, is really special. So I would say those three guys stand out to me. It's a solid list, man. And you're good with your arm angles and the off-platform stuff like Mahomes. So did you develop that part of your game naturally over the years, or do you see other players like, oh, maybe I could throw it like that? Obviously, it takes takes practice, and um, Brad's helping me a lot with that. Um, but I think it's a little bit of both. Um, I mean, obviously, you see Patrick Mahomes use insane arm, arm angles. He's probably the best to do it. So, um, I mean, you see it come up on Sundays um, from the best people, and um, obviously – Sometimes just playing around here and there, you try to try to implement that a little bit. But um, obviously just through practice, um, but you learn from the best as well. So um, a little bit of both. Modern quarterbacks can do some wild things now. And uh, personally, I wanted to ask about A.J. Milwee. He's interesting to me because he was an offensive coordinator so young and he took that other gig right before coming here. But we haven't seen a lot of him in the media yet. So What's he like as a guy? What's he like as a coach? And is he more like cerebral or practical or what? Uh, coach Miller is awesome. Uh, he's a great coach, uh, great player, or great person as well. Um, I think he does a great job with communication, um, just being and just making sure that uh, all the quarterbacks are on the same page um, and making sure that the film room uh, translate uh, to the field. Um, and obviously his relationship with Coach Shark is big um, as well. And just being able to communicate through all those three phases is something he does really good at. Yeah, he's going to be up in the booth for us come Saturday. And all right, man, that's all the football questions. But we got some some questions for outside of the game. You were admitted into McCombs, and that's a big deal, man. That's an excellent school. I spent some time there in my minor, and I loved it. Your professor would literally be like the head of Dell. It's absurd. So what? How's actual school going? Separated from football, are you enjoying being a college student at the University of Texas? Yeah, I am. Um, I've only had a couple of days of classes, um, but it's good just being able to get back on campus and um, being around with the other students. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, it's my first semester in McCombs, actually, so um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I know it'll be a lot of work, but something I'm willing to do. It's a great business school, so... Um, I know uh, it'll set me up in the future. Well, yeah, man, you're going to be all right. And are you defined yet? Like, are you going finance or marketing or I haven't know? decided yet. Yeah. Okay. I'm still kind of working that out, but probably either marketing or management. So cool. uh, we'll see. You'll be set either way you go, man. And I was stalking your Instagram, trying to see who this Hudson card fellow is away from this football thing. And I've seen you've traveled all over the place, man. So what's your favorite place you've been to? And, like non-touristy stuff like where could you actually see yourself living Ooh, that's a great question um yeah one of my biggest hobbies is obviously to travel um me and my family love it um my brother actually is is huge into it and he kind of brings it out um into me so um it's something we enjoy a lot as a family just going to new places um and not going to the same ones year after year just so we get to see a lot and ex get, get to experience a lot um probably one of my favorite spots um that we've been to as a family is probably probably Bora Bora um it's, it's unbelievable um probably the prettiest spot I've ever been to the water is incredible um but as a family we we really enjoy um uh, taking catamaran uh trips uh, just to different islands um uh, at certain spots so that's probably our favorite as a family uh, but we try to mix things up here and there. And what about snowboarding? I saw a lot of snowboarding pics. Yeah, we enjoy that too. We'll 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 visit different places, um, snowboarding as well. Uh, Jackson Hole is probably um, at the top of my list. Um, great snow and a great mountain. So um, yeah, we we try to go every winter. All right, we're out of questions, so I'll turn it back over to you, brother. I had fun, man. And oh, and subscribe to Texas Homer, everyone. Bye. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, make sure y'all comment uh, in the comment section uh, with any questions or comments that y'all have. Uh, make sure y'all go subscribe to Inside Texas and this channel as well. Um, and I'll see you guys Saturday. Looking forward to it.